Hello everyone and welcome back. You might be thinking why did I start the video like this? Well, there is a very good reason to it. The reason is that today's video needs a very good introduction. Now all of us know about Harley Davidson and many of us are a fan of the brand but some of us don't know about a competition called the Battle of the Kings. Well this is a competition held by Harley Davidson and every Harley showroom has to participate in it and they have to build a custom bike and the best bike takes away the prize. So in today's video we are going to witness the unveiling of a similar custom built bike by Warrior Harley Davidson Kolhapur. So without any further ado let's begin with the video. As soon as we entered the showroom we saw a covered up bike but soon began the unveiling event. Now let the camera do all the talking. Custom bike for the Battle of the Kings 2018 competition. So without further ado I would like to invite all Hawks and my business and Mr. Soman Chaudhary, my sales manager Mr. Abhimanyu Balake and my assistant service manager the custom bike building king uh, to be <laughs> to please uh, step ahead and unveil the bike. So hello everyone, I am right now joined by Mr. Rushikesh. He will answer our questions for the bike. So Rushikesh, my question for you is, what is the bike called? The bike is called the Green Guzzler. Okay. We had a theme going on for the bike. Uh, the paint job was decided to be in a green palette. So this was uh, by our master builder, Mr. Sanjay Nair. He decided to call it the Green Guzzler. So that is, that is where it gets its name from. So Rishikesh, my next question for you is, uh, what is the bike based on? The bike is based on the ever best-selling Street 750. It's a very good platform for customizers out there because of its ease of simplicity and uh, you know uh, the smooth, refined and very flexible uh, 750 Revolution X engine. So we decided to build it off on the Street 750 and uh, you know this is our first time around so we decided to uh, play it a bit safe and we chose the Street 750 as the base platform for the bike. Yeah. So what are the cosmetic changes done to the bike? Okay, so starting from the front, we have uh, uh, built this bike around a cafe racer and uh, in, in, I mean, uh, in handling wise, its dynamics are based on a dirt tracker, a, street, a dirt tracker. It's a flat track racer where, is, where Harley Davidson is most known for. So we have uh, given it dual purpose uh, off-road tires and uh, MX style, motocross style handlebar. And uh, the rest of the chain, the rest of the modifications like the upside down mirrors, they are cafe racer inspired. The seat, uh, which is handcrafted and hand stitched, it also gets a cafe custom look. So it's uh, designed to you know hold the rider in place. The you know uh, the bob, the bob, the uh, tail section, yeah, the fenders at the uh, at the rear. So that has been designed, uh, keeping in mind the cafe custom look. And uh, regarding the performance aspect of the bike, we decided to keep it a bit simple. We've just uh, upgraded the exhaust system uh, to be a uh, 2 into 1 into 2. Uh, we have designed the exhaust in-house as well. And uh, we have given it a MX style, uh, an off-road uh, bike style, front Lights. fender. The headlight comes from a night rod special, uh, which was, yeah, it's also a Harley Davidson uh, unit. Then we've carried over purpose was to keep, uh, you know, uh, use as much as Harley Davidson accessories as possible. So we have uh, made use of the brass theme, which is, uh, you know, the derby covers and everything, which is a new collection for 2018. We have made use of that. And the lighting, the lighting that you can see on the bike, it is uh, Harley Davidson's own uh, Spectra Glow lighting, which is an official accessory. So yeah, uh, this is to showcase key what what uh, possibilities you can have uh, when you decide to customize a bike. Yeah. Okay, so what are the changes done to the engine? The engine doesn't, as I mentioned, the engine hasn't gone uh, much changes except for the exhaust system and a bit of a tuning to uh, you know make the engine uh, perform better with the new exhaust. Yeah. So apart from that, we haven't touched the engine much. 
So my next question is, if someone has a dream, can you build the bike? Yes, why not? This is a perfect, uh, a good question actually. This is what we wanted to showcase to the to our customers and our existing owners as well. Because Harley Davidson is all about bringing, uh, building one's own identity. So you know, uh, each bike, uh, even though it's a street 750, it should be unique to its owner. That it should be instantly recognizable wherever you go. So that is where we, uh, that is where Battle of the Kings uh, comes in into picture, and uh, it's a perfect platform to show off our customization abilities to to our customers, and uh, you know have something that uh, they've always dreamt of and which will, which can you know be easily accommodated into a limited budget. Yeah, you don't need to spend big bucks on uh, getting the bike of your dreams. Yeah. So my final question is, how much something like this costs to custom build? A good question. Once again, the uh, the the customization. Uh, I mean, the the cost, the commercial for this has not been decided yet. But uh, as uh, the Battle of the Kings, they have certain rules. Now, for example, we were given a strict budget of only five lakh rupees. So we, whatever customization, whatever you know, wild ideas we have, we have to ensure that is between be, below five lakh rupees. Yeah. So something of this sort would cost you anywhere between two and two and a half lakh uh, rupees for such kind of customization. Yes. So what would you tell about your showroom to our viewers? Yeah, uh, Warrior Harley Davidson is first of its kind concept store in the entire nation. So wherein you have the sales, the service and a uniquely themed cafe all rolled into one place. So this concept has been, uh, you know, uh, initiated keeping the rider in mind. We are located conveniently uh, just a bit of the NH4 highway, which is a very good stretch for, you know, riders coming down for a ride. So they can just, uh, you know, uh, while on their uh, ride, they can come down, they can have their bikes checked and in the meanwhile, they can just chill out at the cafes. Thank you for answering our questions. Thank you so much, Ashish. Thank you. So guys, this was a wrap for the Green Guzzler and I hope you liked the video. And also now that we have many friends here at Harley Davidson, let us know which Harley you would like to see next on our channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This is Fortune Reviews signing off. Thank you.